The Tokyo Electric Power Company is continuing to transfer highly radioactive water from the number two reactor to a waste processing facility. The firm says the level of contaminated water in a tunnel connected to the reactor is slightly lower now. The company says that as of 11 a.m. on Wednesday, the water in the tunnel was one centimeter lower than when transfer work started the previous day. TEPCO estimates that a total of 67,500 tons of radioactive water has accumulated at the nuclear plant, hampering efforts to restore cooling systems. The company says it plans to move 10,000 tons of the contaminated water by mid-May. It is transferring the water to a processing facility near that number four reactor. The company added the level of contaminated water is rising in the basements of reactors number five and six and in the tunnels connected to reactors number three and four. TEPCO says it will transfer about 100 tons from the number five and six reactor to condensers. It says groundwater may have seeped into the reactor's turbine buildings. High radiation levels in a small fish caught off the coast of Fukushima Prefecture have prompted the Japanese government to take action. It's telling local authorities to suspend shipments of sand lances. And it's warning people not to eat the fish. This is the first time restrictions have been applied to marine products since the crisis began at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. A health ministry report showed sand lances caught on Monday south of the plant contained 14,400 becquerels per kilogram of radioactive cesium. That is 29 times the safe limit. The tests also found 3,900 becquerels of twice the limit of radioactive iodine in the fish. Excessive amounts of cesium and iodine were detected in sand lances caught in the same area on April 7th and 13th. The government says the fish are not on the market because fishing cooperatives in Fukushima are not operating. The government says it may prohibit people from entering the 20-kilometer zone around the Fukushima Daiichi plant. An evacuation advisory has been issued for the area, but Chief Cabinet Secretary Yukio Edano says some residents are ignoring the official warning. The situation at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant remains unstable. To ensure people's health and safety, we advise all residents to stay away from the 20-kilometer evacuation zone unless they are given specific permission by the state or local municipalities. However, I hear some people have entered the area despite our advisory. To restrict entrance into the area, we are currently considering setting up a no-entry zone together with local governments. Edano told reporters the government will allow evacuees to return temporarily to their homes or offices to retrieve valuables and essential items. The International Atomic Energy Agency says it will send a team of international experts to Japan to investigate the accident at the Fukushima plant. The plan was announced in Vienna on Tuesday. The UN nuclear watchdog says it will consult with the Japanese government to decide when to conduct the investigation. Earlier missions have been focused on measuring radiation levels in Japan. The fact-finding team is expected to report back to the Ministerial Conference on Nuclear Safety in June. The team will also suggest ways to improve the situation so that people who have evacuated from around the plant can return home as soon as possible. The situation at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant remains unstable. To ensure people's health and safety, we advise all residents to stay away from the 20-kilometer evacuation zone. The team will also suggest ways to improve the situation so that people who have evacuated from around the plant can return home as soon as possible. Someone wants to know what the fuck you were thinking. What the fuck was going through your head? What did you think was going to happen? Are you just a fucking idiot? Do you just not think? What the fuck were you thinking?